Hi, Simon Murphy here, founder at MyMortgageDeal.co.uk. I'm here to help you buy, refinance or release equity from your UK property, wherever you live worldwide. And in this episode, I'm going to answer the question, up to what percentage can I borrow against the value of my UK property as an expat or even as a foreign national? Hopefully see you in a couple of seconds where I'll answer that question. So thanks for joining me. The question we're going to answer in this episode, what is the maximum percentage that I can borrow against the value of my UK property as an expat or a foreign national? Well, the very quick answer is up to a maximum 75%. We had some lenders uh, previous to this pandemic that would go to 80%, but they are vastly reduced. So I would say the maximum at the moment is 75%. Even then, there are fewer lenders in the 75% bracket. But there are a few other considerations uh, to think about when lending up to the maximum percentage available. It's determined often by the type of uh, mortgage it is, and I've spoken about this on other videos, whether the mortgage is a residential uh, for your own use or whether it's on a buy-to-let basis. In a residential basis, the income uh, generally cannot exceed uh, the income is a is a major factor in the maximum that you can borrow uh, determined by the lender. So what is that? Well, depending on your, what your income is, whether that's from uh, employment, self-employment or pension income, lenders generally won't go beyond a multiple of 4.5 times your income. Now, there are some other considerations uh, to think about in relation to that. For example, if you had quite a number of overheads such as car loans, uh, child maintenance and things such as that, then the multiple actually reduces. Uh, but that's the general theme or the general uh, rationale how lenders approach affordability. The other factor uh, in whether you can borrow up to 75% of the property value is uh, on the other type of mortgage where it is a let, uh, buy to let mortgage, a property that's rented out. The factor involved is what the rental yield will generate. Now, what we find is, uh, particularly in the south of the UK, the rental yield, pound for pound, percentage wise, is vastly reduced in comparison to uh, the north of the UK where rental yields as a percentage, pound for pound, are much higher. So how can we get around that? How can we enhance uh, the amount that you can borrow? Well, there are a couple of tricks that we can employ, not terrible tricks, but a couple of tricks that we can employ to enhance uh, the ability to get up to the maximum percentage available. The first uh, trick or enhancement is to look at what we call top slicing. That's using a percentage of your earning income to help or assist the rental yield where it falls short. Uh, some lenders allow this and we can advise on the best way to do it. The other factor or aspect that we can enhance up to 75% lending is the type of product that you pick. Lenders often provide uh, a greater percentage of borrowing capacity when the product is a five-year fixed or higher compared to a two or three-year type product. So again, we can often provide some assistance in looking at the maximum possible capacity that you can borrow against the value of your property, wherever you live worldwide. So thanks for tuning in to our episode here. Please, if you find this useful, uh, please like or subscribe for further updates. And it's always nice or useful for the community if you can comment or ask any questions below and we'll ple be pleased to get back to you. Thanks for tuning in and see you on the next episode at mymortgagedeal.co.uk.